Hey guys, Shane here with 3D Labs. I'm showing you our new CreateBot V600 printer. Uh, here in the shop, it's kind of a mess right now. You'll have to excuse that. Um, thought I'd show you guys what this thing can do. We got this for our auto parts. What we're going to be doing here, um, this, this bad boy's got a 600 by 600 by 600 millimeter build volume. Uh, solid steel frame. It's kind of like a sheet sheet metal, but it's very strong, very rigid. Um, it's fully enclosed, and the, the killer feature is that heater right there. I don't know if you can see it, but that will heat up the chamber to 70 degrees Celsius. Um, it's got build tack. It's got half inch ball screws. I've only seen a ball screw that thick on the race 3D machines that we use. Um, there's the extruders right there. Uh, it does have a BL touch, which is awesome. Most of these big machines don't have that. Um, <clears throat> it's got linear rails on the X axis and the Y axis, um, made by a company called CCM. They're using 10 millimeter belts, um, extremely high quality from what I've seen on the internet. Um, <clears throat> it's got some really heavy duty stepper motors there, probably probably two amp or more, I would think, for something of this size. Um, kind of no frills overall, there's no camera or anything like that, but at the price point, uh, it's pretty amazing for what you get. We're gonna be doing a full review on this printer later on. Um, as you can see, we, it's still, <clears throat> just out of the box here. The other killer feature is the fact that these two filament chambers will hold a 5 kg spool of filament. Um, these are the metal holders right here. We haven't installed them yet. And uh, actually that, that's not the killer feature. The killer feature that I wanted to tell you about is there's another heater back here. And what that'll do is it looks like there's two mode buttons 45 and 65 i don't know if that's i don't think it's combined because that would be insanely hot but uh it looks like you can toggle either 45 or 65 and what that'll do is that'll keep maybe on one side it'll do 45 and one on 65 so if you have dissolvable filament soluble filament such as pva or something that's really moisture prone uh like nylon or something like that it'll it'll keep that chamber dry and it'll keep your filament dry throughout the print especially long prints on a machine like this very important. Um, so yeah, really happy with the construction overall. I mean, this thing is just an absolute beast. Uh, you know, just for comparison, there's one of our Race 3D N2 Pluses, and this, this thing's probably got about 1.5 times the footprint uh, of that easily. Um, we haven't done a print yet. We're waiting for the electrician to install two dedicated lines for this guy. Uh, it actually needs two 20 amp circuits. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be doing a doing a review on the P600 Pro here eventually. Um, this is kind of a sneak peek on that. Shane with 3D Labs.